I'm here with my dear friend, my best friend, Jean-Claude. Jean-Claude Chordag and I have worked together for over half a century, do you know that? And we're going to have fun today cooking together. With a couple of ingredients from the cupboard, we can make crepes in, in moments. You know, by the time the butter is melted, the batter is ready. It's so simple. Very simple, but very beautiful. Yes, well, this is how I did those. Start by melting some butter in a skillet. While it's melting, combine the flour, the eggs, sugar, a little dash of salt, and about a quarter of a cup of milk. Now whisk it until it's smooth and thick. Then when it's smooth, add enough milk to make a thin batter. Now that the butter has melted, mix it in. And in the same buttery skillet, ladle in some of the batter. Cook for about one minute, at least on one side. And then when you see that it's getting golden, flip it over. As you see, the first side of the crepe is always the nicest. So you flip it again before dumping it out on a plate so that when you fold it in half or you roll it, the nicest looking side will be the one visible. Ladle more batter into the skillet making sure that you pour it on one side and move the pan as fast as you can so it's spread out and cover the whole base of the pan. You can always add a little more batter if there is any holes. If the batter is thin enough, it will form tiny, tiny hole all around the edge, what we call dentelle or lace in French. You can fill the crepe with a variety of things like butter and a bit of sugar or jam. I love apricot jam and you can roll them instead of folding them if you prefer. You can add also grated chocolate with a bit of butter and it's delicious. And now we have a whole tray of garnish crepe with a bit of powdered sugar on top, fresh fruit, some mint leaf, and it should be served warm or room temperature. They are delicious. <laughs>